<clears throat> yes, you did see me just pour instant coffee with Milo and a creamer. <clears throat> Yo, what I do? My name is Anyo. Today I'm here to talk more about camera stuff. I don't know if you can really tell in the frame, but kind of messy. I like to be organized and I or at least I try to be. One thing I really like to organize is my desktop and you know my files. Being a independent filmmaker, photographer, one thing that you know no one ever really talks about, especially like clients or like people that you give the files to is storage. I've been having some kind of a journey this past couple months. Also, my birthday just passed and I actually released a small documentary about dance company that I was a part of a couple of years back. I'm still a part of them, but long story short, my injuries are just kind of too much for me to handle and my body couldn't keep up. So I had to give that opportunity away to somebody else, which is my brother, which is great. I'm pretty much in the journey of recovery and trying to get back my previous body. Anyways, doing that documentary kind of made me see this problem that I've had for a while. And that is, again, storage. So, also, this was a gift from my buddy. Uh, which is really cool. I've always wanted to have a lens mug. Behind me here, I feel like everybody has these kind of things. It sounds impressive. 14 terabyte hard drive. So, you know, you can store a lot of stuff in it. For me, this is just uh, archival stuff. So, like, stuff that I'm never going to work on. You know, if I want to keep them for a couple years kind of thing, I will store it in here but i've actually decided to move away from this because most of the time all my archival stuff i still tend to work on those files and work off the drive because obviously no one has a 14 terabyte internal memory on their laptops or computers i mean unless you're one of those crazy rich motherfuckers one of the things that i have a lot lying around are these guys this is the this is Naruto. Um, no, this is the SanDisk 4 terabyte Extreme Pro Portable. Talking about my previous videos, one of the things that I really looking forward for gear and stuff is portability. In my opinion, it's great to have one terabyte SSD externally or internally. But for me, especially again, filmmakers, right, right now I'm shooting on ProRes HQ. I can only shoot an hour of OpenGate 6.2K right now. I don't know what the fo footage size is going to be for this little video. I have a one terabyte memory card on that. So let's say I used one hour of all that footage. Now that one terabyte SSD just becomes that footage alone. So I try to at least get two or more terabytes all the time for SSDs and I know they're hella expensive but in my opinion I think it's a lot better than buying an, a hard drive because of the fact that one you can work off it and it's really fast and it reacts right away. One of the things I don't like about this guy is that you know Let's say I'm working on DaVinci Resolve or editing it, whatever. I take my hands off my mouse for a couple seconds. And then as soon as I get back and try to read that file, it would take at least two minutes to read that file and get it back. And for me, two minutes is a really long time because you add that to the hour of you editing with taking on and off little breaks here and there. It's going to be probably an hour of you just waiting for footage. So yes, even though this is a lot bigger 14 terabytes versus four terabytes if you're a person kind of like me where i tend to use my archival footage a lot i would rather you get a ssd drive even though this is more expensive for a less size you will save money by saving time in my opinion because again these guys are just honest opinion this is just for archive stuff like you can work off it, but again, at what cost, especially your time and your sanity in the computer. So I also recently got this because Amazon had like a cool little deal. Um, it was like 30% off at one point, and this usually goes for $800, $900. And the reason why it's $800 is because it is a eight terabyte SSD, and I think it's called T5 Evo Samsung. So obviously this is Jujutsu no Kaisen over here. Again, look at the size, it's really small. And literally I had two hard drives. This was 14 and the other one was eight. And I was able to fit the first hard drive on this. I have almost all of my archival stuff in this drive, which is great because I can travel with it and you know use everything. And I also have two more of this so that I can fit my other archival footage in there. And these are just my faster SSDs 
because the read and write on this is like 2000 or something, which is great. And the read and write on this is like 500. Really slow, but compared to a hard drive, they are really fast. This comes down to like price and what your price point. Of course, you know, if you need more storage and you're in a crunch, I would suggest getting a hard drive, but I would really consider on trying to have a workflow where the hard drive is your dump area or even your backup and have this as your main hard drive like working off from kind of from because also with your computer if you have so much stuff on your computer and i'm sure everybody knows this the more stuff you have on that the slower your computer runs you know just trying to be safe i also even read that you're supposed to leave 25 percent of your last memory on your whatever hard drive you have in order for it to function properly for me I just like efficiency, which is speed and you know portability. And also there's also like these things called RAID systems. I've never actually had a chance to use those. I actually bought and returned kind of a similar system where it's a, a, a SSD docking system. You know, that cost thousand dollars. And with the setup of the dock and the four SSD mags on it, and you know, it's great because it's really fast. If you put it on your computer, if you connect it to your computer directly, it's like 4,000 uh, 4, megabytes read and write speeds, which is insane. But the reason why, again, the reason why I even opt out for this is because of bigger size, one eight terabyte rather than having four four terabytes SSDs. And I thought with that kind of system, you can make it like one big folder, but it's still four four terabytes SSDs, which is like having four of these, which is great because I do have three of these. You know, it's just annoying moving stuff in and out uh, in one folder to another rather than just having one folder of eight terabytes at least i have a bulk of it even though it's 500 megabyte read, read and write it comes down to what your workflow is and how you like to move your things around or even how you work with the stuff in that drive oh i forgot this is the wd elements hard drive so if you're looking for a hard drive i mean this is one this one's good because it's cheap what's well, one good thing about hard drives is that they're really cheap compared to ssds because of the speed you know you can get raid systems that have increased speeds and stuff but again i've never used it so i can't really speak on those but i'd rather have these guys because at least i can travel with them i can literally put this in my pocket so yeah hope you enjoy hopefully they gave you some insights on what to pick if you are looking for a hard drive or you know, ssds like comment whatever the fuck peace